Hey, this is John. I'm uh, doing a video tutorial today on using mask inside of Flash CS6. Um, we're going to be creating a simple mask to make a little gopher appear out of a hole in the ground. Um, so let me create a new Action Script 3 file. Um, the first thing I want to do is uh, make some ground here. So let's rename my layer to ground. Grab my rectangle tool, which is R on the keyboard, and let's make it a nice grass color and voila ground. Um, well, after I'm done with this let's go ahead and add a hole in the ground um, so if you hit O on your keyboard it'll bring up your oval tool and I'm going to change the color to black and we'll add a hole. Um, so this is all we're going to do with the ground layer. We've got a hole in the ground, grass, um, it's all dandy. Let's go ahead and create a new layer on top of the ground layer and we will call this layer gopher. Uh, now I am no expert at drawing gophers, um, but I'm going to do my best here. Uh, so we've got a couple of eyes, a little nose, uh, we'll call that a gopher nose, a little gopher mouth. And this is going to look really bad. Here's our gopher body. Little gopher arms. And I'm going to go ahead and seal off the body here. We'll call this a gopher although it looks more like a ghost. Um, I'm gonna grab my paint or yeah my paint bucket tool which is K on the keyboard to fill in the gopher with a gopherish color. Right there. Now let's fill in his nose just so it's not white. There you go. Alright, so we have our gopher right here. We have a, um, a ground with a hole in it. And I'm going to add a new layer on top of the gopher layer and we are going to name this one mask. Um, now what a mask does and what you'll see in a second is you can draw any shapes you would like on the stage um, and whenever you turn this into a masking layer uh, wherever the shape is at you will see the gopher where the shape is not at you won't see the gopher um, so I'm going to grab my rectangle tool which is R on my keyboard uh, make sure you have your regular rectangle tool not the rectangle primitive which happens when you hit R twice to switch back to your regular rectangle hit R again and I'm going to draw this rectangle out to kind of match where my gopher is going to pop up. And then I'll hit V on my keyboard to bring up my um, the selection tool here. And if I get close to the rectangle, I can pull it down to kind of match where the circle is at. Now, if you want to get more defined with um, matching up where the circle is, hit A on your keyboard to bring up the sub selection tool. And you can go through and actually manipulate these like paths. Uh, which is very similar to Illustrator if you're used to that. And it just gives you a little bit more control over how this is going to look. There we go. Um, so now we have a little, uh, looks like a teleportation device right there. Um, but that's our shape that matches up where our golfer is going to be coming out of and then also matches the shape of our hole that we have. Um, what you want to do with your mask layer after that is we're going to right click on it and go up to where it says mask. Uh, doing that you'll notice that both of the layers get locked together. Um, if you want to edit one of them you can unlock them individually however if you want to edit the gopher layer uh, you'll have to turn the visibility off on the mask so you can actually see your gopher. Um, but we have our gopher right now it should be fully seen um, I'm going to right click to create a motion tween with my gopher layer. Uh, first of all, let me unlock it and hide the visibility of my mask. Let's go ahead and right click here and create a motion tween. Um, I didn't convert it to a movie clip first, so it's telling me that I need to convert it to a movie clip and it will automatically do that for me if I hit OK. Let me just go ahead and do that. And when it does that, it does add that full second onto your timeline if you don't have any other animations going on. Um, so uh, since it added the second on that one layer and not the other ones, the other layers are not going to show up. Um, let's go ahead and click on frame 24 of the other layers, so my ground layer, and hit F5 on your keyboard to extend out those frames. Now we'll do the same for the mask layer. Remember, you're not going to see the mask because we have the visibility turned off and uh, we're simply going to make our gopher disappear here. Um, so I'm at frame 24 on the gopher layer. Um, just click and drag him down so that he goes away in his hole. 
And then if you lock the gopher layer and turn the visibility back on for the mask layer, you'll notice your gopher should be gone. And you go in and out. Hello. Um, so that is how you create a mask um, to hide elements, make them, you know, zoom in, whatever you want to do. If you control enter on your keyboard, you can see the final product. And we have a gopher going in his hole. Now, if you have any questions, feel free to uh, ask them in the comment section below and um, check out my other tutorials. Thanks a lot.